Number nine, the only force acting on a two kilogram canister that is moving in an XY plane has a magnitude of five newtons. The canister initially has a velocity of four meters per second in the positive x direction, and sometime later has a velocity of six meters per second in the positive y direction. How much work is done by the canister by the five newton force during this time? So we have our initial velocity which is equal to 4 in the i direction meters per second and our our final velocity is equal to 6 j hat meters per second so those are the velocities and we want to know the work done on the canister by the force so we are going to use the the work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy and the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy is equal to mass times the absolute value of the final velocity squared over 2 and the initial kinetic energy is mass times the absolute value of the initial velocity squared over 2. We know that the absolute value of the final velocity is just this number over here, of the final, sorry, not the initial, the final velocity is this one, just 6 meters per second, and the absolute value of the initial velocity is this one, now it is 4 meters per second. Now I just need to replace in this equation over here, and that's pretty much it. So the work is equal to m times the, the absolute value of the final velocity squared over 2 minus mass times the absolute value of the initial velocity squared over 2. Let's replace the letters by the number. So mass is equal to 2 kilograms the absolute value of the final velocity is equal to 6 so it's 6 squared over 2 minus we already know the mass which is 2 the absolute value of the initial velocity is 4 over 2 and now we can cross this out cross this out and then we get 36 minus 16 and this is equal to 20 joules. And this is the answer of this exercise.